Now, on page 30, we're going to go over how to find the volume of a prism and a cylinder. We will also be able to find the volume of a pyramid, but we'll do that later. So on page 30, number one, we see a square prism, but this would be the same for a rectangular prism. Remember, a prism has parallel and congruent bases, okay? So this base is 6 by 6, and the height is 6, okay? So to find the volume, you always find the area of the base times the height. Okay? So volume equals area of the base times the height. So this base is 6 by 6, so this area is 36. So first you find area of base, which in this case is 36, and you multiply it by the height, which in this case is 6. So our answer is 216 inches cubed. Okay, so it's area of the base times the height. Now, we're going to do number two and find that for cylinders, it's the same formula as it is for prisms. Now, cylinder is not a prism because it has a rounded edge. But we are still going to find the area of the base times the height. Now in this case, the area of the base is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. In this particular case, r is 4. So 4 squared is 16, so this answer is 16 pi, and if we use a calculator, we can get the exact answer. If we want, we can just use 3.14 times 16. and we get 50.24. Now, area of the base times the height. In this case, the height is 9. So I multiply the area of the base, which is 50.24, times 9. Here, the reason I moved it over two decimal places was because I counted two decimals. Here, I'm also going to move my final answer over two decimal places. Now, I'm going to move it over 1, 2. So my final answer is 452. Let's round it to 2 inches cubed. Now, your answer may not be exact. If I had used a calculator, which would have had a more exact answer for pi, I would have gotten 452.4. And this is meters, sorry, meters square, cubed. But if you're very close, I'm going to give you credit because we can either use an approximation for pi or the exact amount for pi. So this is how you find the volume of a cylinder and a prism. Now if you turn to page 35, so page 35, and we find that the volume of a pyramid now remember, pyramids end in a point. They do not have congruent and parallel bases. So volume of a pyramid equals area of the base times height, which is the same as a prism and cylinder, except this we divide by 3. Okay, so I'm looking at number 3, and number 3 has 
first you have to figure out your base. In this case, my base is a rectangle. So this is 29 by 17. So the area of the base is length times width. In this case, it's 29 times 17 equals the area. And I get an area of 493. Now I have to multiply 493 times the height. In this case, the height is 42. So I have the area of the base times the height, and now I have to divide this by 3. And that ends up being 6,902 meters cubed. So volume is always in cubic measurement. And I do area of the base times the height divided by 3. So the only difference between volume of a pyramid and volume of a cylinder and prism is for a pyramid you divide by 3, and for a cylinder and prism you don't.